I'm Santana, and I want to talk to you guys about my trip to Japan. And I have to say, it was great. Great vacation. Um, the people there are very, well, they were very nice to me when I went there. I didn't feel unsafe at all. It was just a fantastic fabulous experience and I want to help you guys in case you all might be thinking of going to Japan sometime I'll tell you where I stayed I'll tell you about all of the uh, things I did in case you might be interested in doing them too I'll even list some prices and and just try and help you guys out as, mo as best I can I stayed in Tokyo and it was at Shinjuku by the Okubo station and the hotel was called Hotel Empire I was in walking distance of a street full of different restaurants and food and I was right next to the subway and as everyone should know um, when you go to Tokyo you take subways trains everywhere nice. they're very clean they have a lot of them have like these um, cupcake shops and snack foods there although you're not supposed to eat on the subway train and it's even kind of it's pretty rude if you talk too loud to and never ever answer your phone on the subway it's just considered rude to the japanese people over there before going to japan though it's great to have a jr pass and what this does is you pay once and for seven days or 15 days however many days you want um you can ride the trains in japan as many times as you want and you would think the just go in there and buying a ticket every time you want to go somewhere like from Shibuya or to back to uh, Shinjuku it, it's, it's it's not expensive if you don't plan on going to a whole lot of places but you're going to be using that train I guarantee you way more than you expect and you'll be seeing so much money if you just get this JR pass so what you should do is go online and I'll put the, the link down below and sign up for this at least I think it's a month or two in advance and you'll get a pass like this in the mail with this once you go there you won't have to pay any more for tickets you just run this bad boy they'll give you a pass once you arrive in Japan you, you turn this in for a ticket where you can take all the JR trains around Tokyo and even take the bullet train to Kyoto which is what I did this is how much this is going to save you money from Tokyo to Kyoto a one-way ticket on that bullet train is like hundred and fifty dollars if you get this pass right here it's about hundred and fifty dollars hundred seventy dollars you can go to Kyoto as many times as you want back and forth so you're saving so much money basically first day Japan we got there like 5 in the evening and so we just grabbed some food and crashed and we were really tired so first day there after we slept that night next day I mean we went to Sinsoji temple at Asakusa and it is gorgeous you have to check out this place where you get melon pond okay it's a type of it's a bread what, what melon pond directly translates to melon bread because it looks like a melon kind of and pond is bread and it's so good you have to try it out next to there we took a station on to Ueno Park I eventually went to Shibuya that night for some shopping and to see the famous Hachi statue I don't know if any of you know what Hachi is but it's about this dog who followed its master to work every day and the master eventually died at work but the dog continued to come back to the station at 5 o'clock every evening to wait for its master for the next 10 years. It's, it's a pretty touching story. Next day, we went to the Meiji Shrine. Which was probably my favorite shrine because you have to walk through um, this, like, this park. And there wasn't very many people there. It was very relaxing. The park was just... The shrine, I mean, itself was just gorgeous. We did more shopping at Harajuku. 
at Harajuku, there was a lot of sh people there, and but there's so much to see and get. You know, it, it's like a shopping district, especially uh, Tagashita Street. On Sundays, I do believe it is Sundays, uh, a lot of people dress up. It's just a thing they do in uh, cosplay and uh, Lolita outfits, and you can see all kinds of different people dressed up that way when you walk down the street there. But my favorite place to shop had to be Shibuya 109, which is at Shibuya, and this is where this came from. They um, have a lot of different uh, interesting style. Next day after that we went to Akihabara. This is called like the electric city place. And it's literally like a city made from like an anime. There's so much anime stuff there. The buildings have anime characters on them. When we were walking down the street, there was a hologram of an anime character being interviewed by the news. Kid you not, it was pretty cool. Tokyo Tower was on my list of things to do as well, but we never had a chance to go into it. We did see it from a distance, but uh, we just we didn't feel the need to really go to the top. If you do decide to do that, it's only about $8, um, American dollars. So you could try that out. Everything else I've mentioned, like visiting the shrines and temples, is free. So it's great to know that. I didn't actually spend that much money. Now, Tokyo Dome is another place. This place is kind of expensive. I can't remember the exact price is between $25 to $40. And it's kind of a big range. I'm pretty sure it was like $40 and it's basically like a mini theme park. After spending the morning there and riding some rides, um, we went to Ginza, where the Imperial Palace was. I was hoping to actually be able to get inside or get really close. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but you could make out the palace really well. It was very nice. Walking up to the place, there was all these different trees. They looked really kind of funky, and I'm not sure what kind of trees they were. Now that night, we had already purchased our tickets to watch Kabuki. And it's kind of like, you could, if you go to New York City, you have to see a Broadway play. If you go to Tokyo, you have to see a Kabuki show because it's so popular there. And it's very uh, interesting to watch because, you know, unfortunately, you're not going to understand it. But I think that's what makes it fun, too. Just watching this, is it was really interesting. And I think you guys would like it, I think. Unfortunately, it is expensive. We got our tickets um, maybe two days in advance for this particular show at a convenience store, a company. And the convenience stores there are not like here. They're so much better. You can get anything there, apparently, because you can get tickets there for a Kabuki theater show. And it was about $130. This depends on where you sit. And we were about midway in the middle row. We got a good seat for $130. On the fourth day, we went to Odaiba. Now this place was probably one of my favorite places to visit in Tokyo, and it was called Onsen Monogatari. And it was like a hot spring theme park. You go into this building and you have to wear these, um, they're not kimonos, but they kind of look like them, like these uh, Japanese robes, and you have to wear them. And you go to go outside the building too, to some foot springs where you walk around. And this one spring has like these really hard, sharp rocks, and you're supposed to walk on them, but they hurt your feet so bad. I did not like them at all, but apparently it's supposed to be good for your feet, but they, I didn't like them. And they also have this area where you go and put your feet into the water, and these little fish nibble on all the dead skin on your feet and it's really cool I mean it, it feels like a bunch of feathers tickling your feet it doesn't hurt at all but it's a very strange sensation I think you should try it because it's very unique to say that hey I just use that fish eat dead skin off my feet yay so in this place there are hot springs you can obviously go into and I recommend getting there super early so it's not so crowded. We did not do that, so it was very crowded in the hot springs. Another place to see while you're already in Odaiba, the museum there where you can actually see robots in action. Honda robot was really cool. It could talk and move around all by itself and play ball with a kid. 
it was pretty fascinating to be able to see this stuff. And they have a seal robot that reacts to the way you touch it, and it's kind of like a therapeutic robot. That's what it's for. And another thing we did was see this Gundam style, like this Gundam robot that was huge, it was like life size in front of one of like the little malls there. And it's definitely worth to take a look at. Now, one of the other things you need to see while you're in Odiva is Joyopolis. This place has like a life size sonic statue inside, all kinds of Sega stuff, and an indoor roller coaster that's really fun. You need to check it out. It's free to get into, I think, but you have to pay for the rides that you go on, but they're not that expensive. It's like seven dollars. The roller coaster was. It was the most expensive, I think. And it's around that ballpark. Okay. For you girls, another place to shop at while you're in Otaiba is Venus Fort. And this is where I got this adorable purse. Look at this. It's so cute. The brand is called Colors, and I looked online, I couldn't find a website for it, but I don't think I looked hard enough, and it's just so cute. Oh my goodness. The purse itself is not expensive. It's these cute, these little things that you have to buy separately to attach onto the purse that makes it kind of expensive. This purse was probably around $70. Yeah, I know, it was kind of expensive. Well, kind of, it was expensive, but I couldn't help it. I had to have it. So, when I was coming back from Odaiba, it was late at this point, after we had done all this stuff. Came back from the subway. It's about 11 o'clock at night, or 10 o'clock. And I got up, got off the train. I looked around for a second, realizing that something was right. I wasn't grasping onto something that I should be, which was this new purse that I just bought. And I realized... I left it on the train. So obviously you know I got it back somehow. And that's one thing that makes me so happy about being in Japan. That people are so nice. So what happened was I got off the train and this guy, this Japanese guy, sees me freaking out because I'd forgotten this purse that I just bought and I loved. And I was so sad. And he goes up and he's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm like, I forgot my purse on the train. And he, kid you not, exact words were, oh, this is Japan, it's very safe. I left my Rolex last week on the train, it was returned the next day, and it was the expensive kind. And I'm just thinking, no, no, someone's gonna pick this up and take it home, it's a free purse, no one's gonna turn it in. So he led me to um, a station worker there, and I let them know what was going on. They told me to call back the next morning to see if they, anyone had turned anything in, and I was so relieved that someone was kind enough to actually turn the purse back in, and I got it back, and I was so happy because I really liked this purse, and I just spent so much money on it. And thank you to the person, whoever that was, who turned first in for me thank you all right so the next day we went to Kyoto uh, Kyoto is about a three hour train ride from Tokyo to Kyoto on the bullet train and we go to a shrine right next to a bamboo forest I didn't realize how spaced out things were in Kyoto though, so we only had time really to see it and just walk around the street. So for the rest of the time, I, uh, in, uh, so after going to Kyoto, I went back to Tokyo and we pretty much just kept exploring the cities and that's the most fun I think you can do. Just look around, go into all the different shops that they have to offer, and just have fun. So if you guys have any questions about um, my Japan trip or in Tokyo, yeah, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So I hope this helped out some, and I uh, hope you guys have a great trip whenever you go.
so that was my Japan trip in a nutshell. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys to listen to, and I hope it helped you out some. And I'll see you later. If you like this video, please subscribe. It would be awesome, and I will have more of different trips and stuff, okay? Yay!